These instruments are also equipped with a 16 channel logic analyzer. In order to activate this, you first press the LA button or you can press the L button at the bottom of the touch screen. And then you are shown 16 digital channels at once. Once you're within the LA menu, you can then go into the on off section and you can say turn off a full bank or you can turn them off individually as you so desire. Let's turn off D8 through D15. Once I've done that, I can now actually group my channels together. So I already know that D7 and D6 are part of an I squared C bus, so I'm going to group them together by going into group, and then group one, and I'm now going to select D7 and D6, and I've grouped those together, and then I'll press back, and then to turn those on, I'm now going to press group on off. I'm just going to turn them on. We'll now see them grouped together now in orange, which is an easy way to distinguish them from the other um, six digital channels that we're now being shown on the screen. Once we've done that, we can go back and we can choose, change our thresholds if we so desire. We can change our arrangement, either if we want D0 on bottom or on top. And then we can also change our size, either medium, small, or large. Let's choose large, just so it fills the entire display. And then we can also label them together. So within the label menu, we can turn them on. And we'll now see labels appear on the left-hand side of our screen. We can select our channels. Let's choose D7, which happens to be a clock channel, and then we'll go into our library and we'll label it as a clock channel. And then if we select D6 to be our data channel, and once again, label as our data channel, we'll now see clock and data being labeled on our orange signals, which is another easy way to distinguish the multiple channels together, allowing you to, at a glance, distinguish which digital channels are for which particular aspect.